Hello everyone and welcome to the full Pygame course. Here you will learn how to harness the full power of the Pygame module by making a completely functional Space Invaders game with collisions, explosion animations, clone spawning and so much more. Now the series will be less than 10 videos long and will give you a complete understanding of Pygame. Now I will warn you right here that this whole series requires knowing a bit of object oriented programming as a prerequisite. So I'll leave a card for you right here to the series I made on object oriented programming. Please watch that video and then come right back in case you do not know how object oriented programming works. Now if you know how object oriented programming works or you've watched the entire series that I've put up then you can still stay here and we can go ahead and make our full Space Invaders game and let's start with the installation of Pygame. At this point I'm going to assume that you have Python installed already. In case you don't you can just click the link in the description to the official Python website and do so and when you install Python you come uh, with that uh, package installer which is called pip which I think is Python install packages and uh, what you can do is to use pip to install Pygame. Now if you've already installed Pygame, you can go ahead to the next step, probably the next video itself. And uh, I, I will just be installing Pygame and testing everything in this video. So once you have your command prompt uh, popped up, uh, you can just type in pip install um, Pygame. Okay, and this will install Pygame and that's spelled as P-Y-G-A-M-E. And that's pretty much it. Now I've already installed the module on my laptop so I'm not going to go and click enter but in case you have not installed it already then you should be able to do so. So once you've installed it if you're using an editor such as idle then you should face no problems and you can get right into the code but if you're using like me if you're using PyCharm then you do have to do an additional step. So now click on file and uh, then click on um, settings. Now if you just try to say import Pygame that's going to show as an error because it yeah look at that although Pygame is installed it isn't there within this virtual environment in uh, Pygame uh, I'm sorry in PyCharm so what you need to do is to head over to um, settings uh, and uh, within settings click on uh, project Pygame series and project interpreter and now all uh, this entire list is pretty much all the modules that exist within this virtual environment so what we need to do is since we already have the interpreter set up we just need to add um, add or uh, add the Pygame package to the virtual environment. Now, uh, in case you're not sure how I got here within PyCharm, then I just made a new project with like the default settings, however it came with. And uh, now once you have this uh, screen popped up, you can just search for Pygame and uh, you should see this coming right here. And then you can click install package. Now, once this is installed, I'm going to be right back. So the package just finished installing and now you can see right here that we have Pygame in uh, underlined with green instead of red and green just signifies probably that it's never been used before, uh, used after I mean. So uh, after this you need a couple of more modules right here and most of you would have these modules install, uh, installed already by default but I just want you to check uh, with those. So first one is import math and you can see I have it uh, coming up as a suggestion within my IDE. Next one would be to import um, random and once again I have this installed as well and next I am going to import another one which is going to be called time and in case you don't have any of these modules then I don't think you have to go like through the pip install and all that you can just go to your project interpreter and add them but most of you will be having these so I'm going to assume that you do. In case you don't please comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. So once you have all these set up, rather than just trusting my ID, I'm just going to click run or you can just right click in PyCharm and click run. And uh, in case this just shows like process finished with uh, exit code uh, blah 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 that or Z like 0 or 1 then it means that yeah you can see here we have process finished with exit code 0 and that means that everything worked fine and we didn't get any errors. Now if you're still getting some errors then you might want to review the steps that I mentioned earlier and in case you didn't see Python within your project interpreter packages then that's probably because the pip install didn't work for you and you just might want to try that again. So that's it for this video folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was a pretty short one I know but this would pretty much cover the entire installation and from the next video we'll be getting into the actual code. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.